Hello everyone, this is Nina and welcome to my channel. So I am making a Disney inspired, Disney villain inspired soap. So what you see there when I'm pouring into my lye solution, now I did use some aloe gel. I used fresh aloe gel. I got the aloe plant and I cut it up, added some distilled water into it and put it in the freezer. So it is part aloe and part water solution for my lye. And the little bits that you've seen floating around there was a part of the aloe plant. So I'm mixing this up. I'm trying to get to emulsion. I'm soaping pretty cool. I started at about 90 degrees. So this is every time I make soap, I make a naked part of it as well. I just don't put any fragrance in it, any kind of additives. I just use regular plain soap, unscented, no coloring, no anything. So, I am making a Ursula inspired soap. So, I also have some Dead Sea clay. I made a little bit of a mess here. So, there you go. It's all cleaned up. So, that's a little bit of Dead Sea clay with some green in there. I wanted it to look like some seaweed, some sand. I put it on a tilt to pour it because I wanted to try to get some beautiful little um, squid octopus tentacles in there. So I put it at an angle, I put in my green first, I have it slanted, and then I have my my activated charcoal here. I'm just mixing it up and I am going to attempt the tentacles. So I still don't know how this soap came out. I'm doing the voiceover beforehand. I'm a little nervous. I hope this soap comes out nice. So Ariel is one of my favorite Disney princesses and I... I'm doing a whole Disney inspired, Disney villain inspired. So it wasn't coming out exactly the way I wanted. So I got the spatula and I started to pour over and I'm trying to get it as neat as possible and it's not working very well, as you guys could see. So I'm just trying to smoothing it out. I'm gonna go back over it with the green. So it's, does, it's a little bit of a process. I noticed I wasn't at that much of a tint, tilt. So I'm going back over with the green. I wanted to give it a break between the black and the green to make it look like her te tentacles. So this soap did take me rather long to make. It speeded up, I think, at like 8% right now. So I'm going over it with the black again just to kind of make a break in the soap, the seaweed, and then her tentacles around. And now I am about to add in my titanium dioxide and my white to make my white to try to make the ocean waves along with the blue so i'm having a little bit of a problem with my titanium dioxide right now it's not mixing the way i wanted it to it's a little clumpy i'm not sure why so i tried my stick blender and it just brought it a little bit lighter not much so that's going to cause me some problems a little bit later on but it's fine so I've added that in. I'm about to add in the blue for the blue swirl. Sorry about the camera angle. I have very limited workspace. So now I'm adding in my blue mica to give it that blue oceany look. Now I'm having a little bit of time, hard time. I added some more fragrance oil in to try to get that blue mica to get out. It would not get out. So I am doing it in the pot swirl to try to get the blue and the white to look like ocean waves under the sea. So that is what the soap is called. It is called Under the Sea. I am still rather new at this voiceover. I was originally talking over it, but as usual, my kids are pretty loud and they love to talk loud and they can get very annoying. So I am doing it this way instead. Um, I am still very nervous about it. So I flattened it out. And then because the titanium dioxide did not go the way that I wanted it to go, I need to make some more soap batter. I am adding in my blue to this one. I'm adding in some more soap batter. I was having a hard time, so I figured I'll correct it later. But then it gave me two different colors, but it's okay. I like the way both of them came out. So I'm just mixing the titanium dioxide again, immersion blending it, trying to get a little thicker trace i'm doing the in the pot swirl again and then i'm gonna work on the second brick um you really don't have a shot of that i thought it was i was in camera view 
Okay, everyone, so now I am getting ready to do my beach waves. Look how beautiful this looks. So now I'm going to go back over it with the black to kind of make Ursula's um, tentacles come out to grab whoever's on top or whatever. I just thought it would be a really cool effect. So I wanted a little bit more waves here, as you can see. So now I'm going to go over with the black. I'm trying to get it as thin as possible because I did go up pretty high with the soap. So I'm just going over it slightly. I just want everything that's on the bottom to be also on the top to just kind of bring that effect in. I Now I'm just like swirling it to kind of make it look more like her tentacles coming out. And I am about to put some green as well just to get that Dead Sea clay and that beautiful green on top as well that is supposed to be my seaweed. I'm just trying to even it out right now, clean it up, and then I'm going to go over with some sea salt. And I think the soap looks amazing. Please leave a comment and tell me guys what you think. If you like this content, um, please leave a comment. I will try to upload more. This is the second slab. I thought I got me pouring the second slab, but I didn't. I'm trying to make the waves here. And then I'm going back over to make the tentacles with the black. And guys, um, I'm still very nervous and I'm like stuttering over myself. So I'm sorry for that. I'm getting a little bit better. Not a lot, but I am working on it. So I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit as much as I can. And as you can see, I'm just filling up some sample soaps that I have with the leftover soap that I made. So those are going to be free little samples for everyone. I am going to go over this as well with the sea salt on the samples as well. And this smells amazing. It's like a beachy scent with um, sandalwood in there. So it's sea salt with sandalwood and it's very comforting and very relaxing. So I'm going to clean this up. Put the rest on in those little soap molds that I have for the samples and I'm going to sprinkle some sea salt on it and the cut will be done in about a day or so. Well, you'll have it in a few minutes, but it will be a day or so for me. So thank you guys so much and I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, hi everyone. All right, wait, this has been sitting since yesterday. So the soap is about three and a half days old. So I cut some earlier. I just want to skim some off. But so let's see how this came out I really really like the way this looks I'm happy with the way it comes out I think it could have come out a little bit better but it's okay you could see the differentiations in the colors because I did have to re-pour so I wanted it to look like the ocean and seaweed and Ursula but I guess practice will make perfect overall I am happy with the way it came out let's cut into the other one Hi, you may be asking yourself, yeah. why was the soap standing yeah. up like that? It's because I tried to use yeah. my steamer to yeah. get some of that yeah. soda ash out. So Baby John is here with me doing the voiceover. This is the first one that I poured, and it looks amazing. I really love the way this turned out.